The number one question I get over and over again is how do I get such big guests for my podcast? People like Charlie D'Amelio, Paris Hilton, Rob Deerdeck, Ciara, and so many more. Now, I don't come from Hollywood. I don't have any showbiz people in my family. I'm actually from New Jersey. I was born and raised there. I sold kitchen equipment for the last 10 years. So how did I make it all happen? One, you got to join a platform bigger than yours, especially if you're starting out as a podcaster. It's going to take you years and years to get the following you need to justify a Charlie D'Amelio sitting down with you. Hopefully you're creating content now or you probably wouldn't be watching this. So keep creating content, but you have to join someone who has a bigger audience than you. You can reach out to blogs. There's still blogs and newsletters out there and make sure their audience is the audience that you want. Number two, you got to put in the work. It's easy to see me at an event, even though I don't go out much, but it's easy to see me on Instagram at Paris Hilton's house interviewing her or at the D'Amelio footwear launch party interviewing the D'Amelio. That's easy to see. But what you don't see is the nine months it took me to book Paris Hilton. I've got a spreadsheet with over 200, 250 names that I'm constantly working and I dedicate anywhere from five to 10 hours a week for the last three or four years of guest outreach. To get to somebody like a Paris Hilton or a Charlie D'Amelio, they have a whole team around them. They're not going to reply to your DM, so don't waste your time. You got to figure out who the manager is. Maybe there's a PR team. That takes a long time. Then you got to follow up. If you remember, put yourself in the celebrity shoes or the manager's shoes. Every Every single day they're just dealing with dozens or sometimes hundreds of inbound requests. You got to stay on top of it without being annoying. That's very hard to do. So you got to make yourself notes. Okay, send email on June 1st to Paris. You go back two weeks later, you haven't heard back from them, send them another email. The third point is maybe the most important point. Don't be annoying. Most of my interviews come from referrals. You interview celebrity A, you treated them right, you did a great interview, you did great content, you formed a great relationship. Hey, now they're going to recommend other people that they represent or people that they think would be good on your show that would be good for you. And you only get those relationships by acting normal. You'd be surprised. When we do an interview, my man Chris, my man Mike, they all know, don't bother the guests. Don't ask them for anything. Don't pose for selfies. I'm not a dictator. If they really like that person, of course they can take a picture and of course they can talk to the guest. I do the same. I don't ask for anything. The only thing I ask the guest for is if you like the interview, if you could share share and include a link on a story, that'd be great. That's it. You got to put yourself in the celebrity shoes. Every single day, they get asked for something. Don't be that person. Instead, try to offer something. What I can offer the guest is, I'm going to give you a great interview, a well thought out, well researched one. And hey, I'm going to give you clips that you can share on social and I'll cut up any clip you want. So they're getting something out of that. And I also give them a Forbes article too, some of the time. So you got to think about what you can offer the guest instead of what you can get out of them. So that's it. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to put a list together of 50 to 100 guests, dream guests you'd like to have on your show. Now you got to think long term and short term because hey, I need a guest in two weeks so I got to think small, somebody local, somebody I can get immediately. But you also want to be working those big guests that are going to take time like the Paris Hilton's that's going to take nine months. You need those on the radar too. So jot them all down and get to work. It's time to level up. You can do this. Good luck.